I have a lot of shit I do other than rap and hip hop. I'm definitely aware of that. Like, I got mirrors. I know what I look like. I look like a, a snowboarder of some sort, you know? Like, people think I'm fucking like, what the fuck is that? We just brought the skateboards on tour, so that shit's been a whole new, uh, a whole new experience. It's really fun. I like to snowboard too. Uh, I like to paint. I like to read. I like to um, I like to swim in the ocean. That shit's dope. I'm just a kid out here, like living, enjoying the world, seeing what it's got. Been lucky enough to have these like traveling opportunities. So I've been seeing like a lot of shit and feeling people out, seeing what I'm into. Life's dope. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to do all things. I'm not like trying to just be like a rapper. Yeah. I'm also not trying to be like a. Uh, a Wu Tang, like in the streets, really cypher rap, rapper type, you know? I would be down with being like a Robert Plant type, they're fucking just r rocking out and going crazy. I I'm gonna find my fusion, I'm whatever I am. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could get in your feelings about skin color, anyone can, but if you do it to me, then like, what does it say about you and shit? And like, I don't do that to people. I don't think there's such thing as like too white or this is too black or. I don't think any of that really exists. It's definitely an interesting time to exist in that type of shit. Uh, it's weird as hell. Um, people be feeling some type of way about everything on the good side and the bad side, but uh, just keep rolling with it and people can't really tell you shit. Once you figure out what you think you like or what you like, you really need to like put in the hours to actually learn the craft. Like a lot of people think shit is just given to you. But nah, it's training. It, it's like, you have to like train at whatever you're doing. You gotta make the machine so it's like, you know you could type with your eyes closed, you gotta be on the be on the machine or whatever you're working out and just be like, oh no, I can do that. And like really learn before you try to, to put shit out or try to be, try to really do anything. Like get some stuff down. That doesn't mean you can't create while you're just still trying to learn. Some of your best shit can come from that. Get your skill sets down. And then the other one, I love this quote, is get a life before you get a mic and get real before you get killed. Kids who don't do anything and like aren't like really living life that much are getting microphones and then just like trying to, thinking that this is their gateway out of their life of inactivity. But it's like, nah, bro, you have to go make your life active. And then once you get that and you absorb everything and you see life, then you can get the mic and fucking retell. Cause that's all it is. It's like it's like rap is like life retold. I'm like fuck, bro. I want to be as wise as Bob. I want to be like I want to have the talents of Anderson Pack. But they've also been like by the time they can make their mark, they had like from my age. I'm 21. It's like they got like eight to ten years like to really spend some time with it. And so I be getting frustrated when I can't like effectively understand how I'm feeling. But I'm like. Now nah, you just growing, dog. Like <laughs> you like have to learn how you're feeling. But on the way, I'm gonna make that shit about how I don't fucking really know what's good. I'm gonna be a role model for sure. I'm gonna lead my people. I think everybody. You want to be like a leader without authority. I don't want to be like an egotistical, like I'm always right type of leader. But that being said, I do think I have a lot of things I can show people. I, I want people to just be existing on just a a frequency is just higher than your average person and, and in this light that you're just like you're there you know I don't I don't believe that this is it in life you know like we, we go through like a lot of mundane and just bullshit times and I just think that you can exist on a, on a frequency that's just like much more um, like loving and you love yourself and you can create effectively and be authentic and I just want kids to find out who they are and shit so there should be like no no um no limits on that. He brings over two strippers uh, and they want to have a dance. And she's like, please just dance with me. Like, here, if you give me, do, do you smoke? And I'm like, do I smoke? Yeah. So she's like, okay, if you if you dance with me, I'll, I'll just give you, I'll give you some weed. I don't want to be tiny, you know? I, I want it all. Like I said, I want to dethrone people. I want people to know that I'm coming. And it wasn't just about me. I just saw the potential of the entire label. And every, every time like I had a great idea, I felt like it just it just wasn't on their, their list of things to do. I've had moments where I was just like, fuck it, man, I'm, I'm in debt. You know what I'm saying? I, I gotta get a job. I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta stop with the music. You know what I'm saying? I've had plenty of moments like that, but honestly, this is what I'm passionate about and what is success without struggle. If a girl's taste of music is just super lame, like I cannot have a deep conversation with you with just EDM music just blaring in the back, just bam, 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 bam. Like, that's not gonna work. 